Yeah, it was a good weekend. They moved the meet to Friday night just because of some weather. So we were able to get really a big thing was 800 meters. Aziz Muhammad and Prince uh, qualifying for nationals, top eight in the country. So those were two big marks we needed to get checked and uh, stayed healthy for the most part. So now we just kind of buckle down, get ready for conference, uh, not this week, but next. And uh, then we have another week and then we go to nationals. So we're kind of coming down to championship season and see what we can do. So I think we're relatively healthy right now and in a good spot. So we just got to train at a high level and get some rest recovery finals and all that as well so just got to make sure we're doing everything right and get ready for uh, a trip to San Angelo next week. Do you already have like a lot of the national marks you need or are you trying to get some more marks down? And- you know honestly I think we're good to go I think we've got every, all the boxes checked so really conference is just uh, hopefully you're just moving up the list and performing at a high level hopefully bring home some uh, hardware from that meet and do a good job there so um, I, th- I, th- I feel good about where we are nationally we just got to Honestly, get through that conference meet healthy and then uh, give ourselves the best chance uh, at nationals at the end of May. So what would the training look like this week knowing you've got some two big weeks ahead of you? Yeah, we'll, we'll take some rest recovery and then hit a couple pretty hard sessions this week and then uh, get in the weight room a little bit, stay in there, and then just uh, um, leave for a conference next Wednesday and then compete three days in a row, come back, and then really just have that week break and then do it again. So conference is a week later this year just due to the state meet being this weekend officials and timers, things like that. So a little different setup for us, but I think it'll be good. It gives us a time to kind of rest and recover and then hopefully have a big performance there at, in San Angelo. You mentioned finals happening around this time of year as well. How do you feel like your athletes this year are balancing the two? Well, most of them are online now, so most of them can kind of, um, you know, work with their professors and get that done. And then we don't leave. They'll still be able to be here for some of the finals and won't miss – maybe a couple days. So usually we try to get ahead of it early and make sure that everything's organized and prepared and that way they don't stress out and it affects them in the classroom and then in turn affects their performance on the track. So we're in a good spot there. I think we've done a good job of communicating and hopefully they've uh, taken care of business. Also, Louie had a dominant week in the 1500 meet multiple D1 athletes as well. What do you think about his performance? Yeah, Louie Louis was hurt at Azusa and didn't get to run. So. You know, he's just really itching for an opportunity to run fast and to, to beat that field at, you know, 8 in the morning or whatever it was on Saturday was was really good. I think he's he's probably the one, now that you said that, that needs to do something at Angelo a little faster. So he's he's one that can do it, um, and he's one that will really want to perform well at San Angelo and hopefully hit a mark and hit a time there that will get him into Nationals.